All about brick today? What are we working on? Yeah, well, you remember when I went out to Milwaukee. Yeah, sure. Cream City Brick. Yeah, I mean, they named the whole town after that. That's right. That very distinctive brick, right? There was, there was something in the material that when they fired it, it gave this beautiful cream look. That's right. But it didn't stay that way, did it? It did not. Uh, unfortunately, it's a very, very porous brick. So after about 30 years, everything that they had put up has turned black. Okay. So what are we working on today, though? Well, we had a similar problem in the Northeast with what we call concrete brick. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's one of them right here. Looks uh, about the same proportions of a brick, but clearly not the same material. That's right. So this brick is, again, just pure concrete. Yep. And it is set in a form, mm -hmm. and then dried, and then for use. And so what is the problem? Does this become this over time? That's right. After about 20 years of weathering, whether it's a chimney or a wall, this brick turns into that brick. Hmm. So this was too porous. Is the concrete brick too porous as well? That's, that's exactly right. This is porous and that sucked in all that pollution which led to the discoloration. Yep. What the concrete brick does, it's going to suck in all the water, which is going to start that freeze-thaw uh, cycle that we always talk about. And that's how you end up with that brick. So that's interesting. Is a clay brick, one that's sort of fired traditionally, a lot less porous than a concrete brick? Uh, very much so. The, the more you cook that clay brick, the harder it gets and the more resistance through the weather that it is. So. Okay. So what's the solution for the concrete brick? Well, we're going to waterproof that. Oh, really? Yeah. Look to your left. You can see that's dry. Right? Yeah. A little change in color here. That's right. To the right, we have waterproofing agents. So check this out. Wow, that really changes color. Yeah, but look at this. No. Come on. Yeah. I mean, look at that. You can tell by the uh, change in color that this brick is just absorbing the water. It just sucks it in like a sponge. Nothing. No Nothing. change in color, and it's beading off. Beads off. Try that. Try that, Kevin. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. So there's your protectant. So how do we waterproof concrete brick? That's what I'm going to show you. All right, I have my bucket. I've already put my waterproofing agent in it. Clear liquid right there. All right, so I'm going to dip in my roller. Now, you can either roll like we're going to roll, or you can use just a regular garden sprayer. But And just get this brick. We're just going to get this brick. We're going to start at the bottom. So that is absorbing it right Look there. Look at that. Yeah, see how it gets sucked right in? Yeah. So that is actually more than an eighth of an inch into the material right now. Really? Yeah. So apply liberally, is that okay? Yes. You can't Don't really over apply. You can't over apply. And I presume this is going to um, eventually dry and set up, right? It does. It actually takes about 14 days for a full cure. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay. you just have to realize that. And uh, once you put the waterproofing in there, it's all set up. I mean, does that sort of you know, bring this brick back to an effective brick? So what I usually tell people is it becomes like an eggshell on top of your brick, yeah. therefore protecting it against all the rain, all the snow, all the sleet, and all the other elements. I love it. All yeah. right, well, the Northeast is not going away at Cream City. Not at all. Thank you, Mark. All right, Kevin. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.